12 years, 300 projects, 200 partners. Working in partnership with government, reaching out to a quarter of a billion people. With HIV in India being concentrated in groups with high-risk behavior, the UK Department for International Development has focused on HIV prevention amongst vulnerable groups such as men who have sex with men, injecting drug users and commercial sex workers. DFID's journey in India is marked with some truly outstanding milestones. DFID has been working in HIV and AIDS in India since the mid-1990s. We've travelled a long way since then. Our support to NACP2 was innovative, risky, flexible and yielded a lot of very important results, which you'll see in this film now. What we were able to do with our grant funding was to try things to see what would work, anything that would stem the epidemic here in India. And I think you'll see from the projects and programs that we've had a lot of success along the way. Shonagachi. People around the world know the name. The HIV prevention work in this red light district in Kolkata in West Bengal has kept infection rates amongst commercial sex workers to 5%, significantly lower than other red light districts in India. Part of DFID's first large-scale support to India's HIV response, the West Bengal Sexual Health Project focused on delivering integrated health services alongside awareness-raising campaigns. Sonagachi rates as the most high-profile part of this project and DFID's funding allowed a significant increase in operations. The empowerment of sex workers to insist on condom use means that the Sonagachi project is now run by the sex workers themselves and has successfully increased condom use to an estimated 90% of sex workers in the district. From sex workers to truck drivers, DFID has excelled at finding the right intervention for different groups vulnerable to HIV. The Healthy Highways campaign used person-to-person -person communication as a way to encourage truck drivers to use condoms and seek medical help when required. So successful was this project that it registered a 6% drop in the incidence of sexually transmitted infections in just three years. From 2003, the campaign has also been supported by Avahan, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's HIV prevention initiative in India. From interpersonal communication to mass media, 118 episodes, three industry awards, top 10 television ratings, a weekly reach of almost 30 million people. Jasus Vijay or Detective Vijay marries helicopter chases and high action stunts with messages about social change and HIV. Bina condom ke sharirik samman banana, gupt rogo, और HIV विषाणु को खुला नियोता देना होगा। Starring an HIV positive detective, the program has made a real difference to real people. हमें जासूस विजय इसलिए पसंद है कि वो बुरे आदमियों को जेल में पहुंचाता है। मुझे जासूस विजय बहुत पसंद है क्योंकि वो HIV AIDS की भी जानकारी देते हैं। Providing expertise through centers like the Project Management Office and the Resource Center for Sexual Health and HIV AIDS has been at the heart of the DFID approach to HIV prevention. The work of the Project Management Office has focused on sharpening the administration of projects to be more flexible, responsive and coordinated. Working hand-in-hand -hand with civil society, the Project Management Office has been hugely successful in minimizing the risks of contracting HIV through injecting drug use. Around 70 civil society partners work together with DFID to provide nearly 80% of the drug substitution treatment given to injecting drug users in India. 
पहले की तारीख में जो है ना हाथ ऐसे फैलाते थे आज की तारीख में ऐसे नहीं फैलाते ऐसे करने की सदबुद्धि आ गई हम ऐसे दे सकते हैं ऐसे नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हम काम करके खा सकते हैं The Resource Center for Sexual Health and HIV AIDS has a clear mission to strengthen the ability of partners involved in HIV prevention work and help prevent the spread of HIV. Fellowship in HIV medicine is a very important step as regards Maulana Azad Medical College is concerned. We feel that uh, though we, this is a second year going on, the first batch outcome was very fruitful. The, all the candidates are doing very well. They are helping in their various organizations, setting up, delivering the services, having linkages with NGOs. And I have personally seen it myself by going to different places. The Fellowship in HIV Medicine is a one-year training course for healthcare practitioners in HIV care. The course is offered in three major medical colleges and has had over 100 doctor graduates in the last two years. Looking ahead, DFID's most important contribution to the HIV response in India will be through the Indian government. DFID-funded project support units already assist India's state AIDS control societies in delivering HIV prevention projects in eight DFID-supported states. Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Urissa, Kerala and Gujarat. Almost half the total targeted interventions in India are those managed by the state AIDS control societies in these eight states. In 12 years, DFID's support for India's HIV program has involved a wide range of themes and partners. Scattered groups working separately for the rights of men who have sex with men have been brought together by the Humsafar Trust and NAS Foundation International to form a common national voice. With support from DFID, more than 45,000 healthcare professionals have been trained in the treatment and care of people living with HIV by the Clinton Foundation. Sexual and reproductive health services for women, especially for women living with HIV, were strengthened by programs run by PATH, Engender Health and the India HIV AIDS Alliance with DFID's help. Multimedia campaigns, peer networks, meetings and training programs run by the Indian Network of Positive People, Breakthrough and BBC World Service Trust, among others, have made huge strides towards reducing stigma and discrimination against people living with HIV. With the support of UN AIDS, the Parliamentarians Forum on AIDS has roused political leadership at national and state level to address the problem of HIV. Over the decade, DFID's support to India's HIV program has shifted from standalone projects to a mixed support for projects, technical assistance and direct government funding through the National AIDS Control Organization. This builds on an ever-growing partnership with government. Fortunately, the world's learned a lot since the mid-1990s about how best to control the HIV AIDS epidemic. NACP3 and DFID's support for that reflects the progress that we've made and the knowledge we've acquired. Most of our resources, about 20 million pounds a year, will go directly through government. The reason we're doing this is with, because we think the government of India is the only institution that is big enough, powerful enough, and has enough political and policy to make sure that the resources reach the places that they need to. In the design of NACP3, both government and donors who are supporting it have been very, very clear that government will work closely with Indian NGOs to make sure that the kinds of projects that you've seen today will continue, but critically, will reach many, many more people as required. This has been a showcase of some of the work the FID has supported in its long and exciting journey working on HIV in India. And it is now time to build on what has already been achieved.